Hello, everybody. It's time to go survival ready, and that means level of detail work and construction stages. So I've built myself three construction stages so that as you build this device, you'll get a sense that it's actually being constructed. The other thing I did is I built myself some level of detail stuff. Now, the idea of level of detail is you can have a really, really high poly mesh when you're up close, you know, 10,000 polys or whatever. And then as you get further away, you can shed those polys and save a lot of, of effort. The problem is that this is a very large object, and in a two for strike against it, it also has a very obvious status light. The problem is, after the first level of detail change, the status light goes away. Yep. Your emissive material only works at the main mesh. Any level of detail work, and it vanishes, turns white. That means that if you've got really obvious, uh, uh, if you've got really obvious status lights, you can't use level of detail. Similarly, because this is so big, the level of detail staging is actually really overly aggressive. And even at the furthest level of detail, which is back here, this is when I would normally start to think about applying the first stage of level of detail, and this is actually the lowest possible stage of level of detail. So for large objects, level of detail is not not very easy to use, uh, and it's made a lot worse by having the status lights turn white. So that's why between my base and my final level of detail, I just make those lights vanish entirely, because the other option is for them to go from green to red, uh, or from green to, right, to white, and that would be just as obnoxious. So I'm going to get rid of this first transition. I just left it in so that you could see that, that change. If you don't fill those first two layers, then you won't get any change until 50 meters out, and you'll keep your status lights. Speaking of which, you may have noticed that these red guys stay on the whole distance. Well, here's a little secret that you might not have realized. There's no such thing as level of detail on a construction stage. So it's impossible for me to specify. So this will always be at its primary level of detail. And that might be worth noting for those of you who are doing like small ships writ large or things like that and grinding down stuff to make it look cool. That ground down stuff will remain at full density until you hit 20,000 meters away. So uh, if you're just decorating the inside of your ship with a whole bunch of ground down wires or pipes, be a little bit careful because that stuff is heavyweight. So now, I'll show you how to do it. So basically, you have these layers. And I'm hoping you can see that real clearly. They're really tiny on my screen. These layers here are level of detail layers. And what I just did is I took my first stage here, and I highlighted everything, and I, hit, I think I hit Shift-M? No, no. Control-M? No, sorry. So you hit Shift-D to duplicate it, and then you hit M to move it to a layer, like this. And there you go, you've got another level of detail. And then you can just come over here and be like, okay, well, well I'm going to make it easier by deleting stuff. In my case, I'm going to delete this whole layer so it doesn't bother me anymore. Same with this one. Bye. And just leave this guy. So what I did here is I did some uh, deleting of some loops to make it simpler. Here are my construction layers. Same deal. So that is how it works. You just fill these three with the meshes that you want for level of detail, and you fill these three with the meshes you want for construction stages. And then you hit print. I meant to print, hit it in the other direction, that's fine. And you're done. You are now ready for your survival mode antics. And that means that this is ready to go onto Steam, and you can get it already. It's linked down below. Hope you enjoy it.